Fox News says that the body of Molly Tibbetts has been found. Record-setting rainfall in Dane County. Names released in officer-involved shooting. These stories and more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, August 21st, 2018. They are experiencing flooded roadways and lost power for thousands of people as Western Dane County sets an all-time state record for rainfall with reports of between 11 and 13 inches, according to the Wisconsin State Journal. The effects of the torrential rain yesterday were mostly contained to the western half of the county. And there has been a death reported because of the flooding. Dive teams and first responders were called in to look for a missing person after a car stalled in flood waters. Police were called out around 9 o'clock Monday night and three people were trapped in the car, but only two made it to land. The third, they believe, was swept away by the current. Authorities are now calling the search for the person a recovery effort. The Cass County Sheriff's Office says a 37-year-old Sheboygan woman drowned on Ponto Lake in rural Bacchus, Minnesota over the weekend. Sheriff Tom Birch says that the deputies arrived around 4.30 on Saturday afternoon and found that the 37-year-old woman had been swimming near shore and was found in the water, not breathing, by other parties in the area. The victim was then removed from the water and CPR and life-saving efforts were provided, and the victim was transferred to the St. Cloud Hospital where authorities say she died on Sunday. The victim's identity is being withheld pending notification of family members, and an autopsy is scheduled with the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office. Police in Manitowoc are looking for a dog that bit a child in the face yesterday afternoon. It happened around 4.30 at Union Park. Police say that the dog is a beagle or terrier type breed. The owner is a woman in her 40s with purple hair. And they believe that she lives in the area because she has been seen in the area before. Anyone with any information is asked to please call the police. Flight for Life was called to a rollover crash Saturday night in the town of Greenbush. The Sheriff's Department says a new Holstein man was seriously injured in an accident that happened on County Road C near Cherry Road. Deputies say the 27-year-old was heading west on his Jeep Wrangler, entered the ditch, got back on the road, and went back into the ditch, rolling twice and ejecting the driver. The vehicle ended up on its roof, and the driver was not wearing a seatbelt, he got a ticket for operating while intoxicated. Authorities are releasing the names of the victim and officer involved in a deadly shooting from earlier this month in Rusk County. 35-year-old Adam Knowlton died from injuries after he was shot by deputies in a home on the 400th block of Factory Street in the village of Hawkins. Russ County Sheriff's Deputies Ben Reisner and Matt Wojcik are listed as being involved, but authorities haven't said which one shot Knowlton. They have three and nine years of experience, and neither deputy was injured. Both were placed on administrative leave while the State Department of Justice investigates the shooting. A caller told dispatchers that the victim was intoxicated and violent. Knowlton was taken from the scene by ambulance and died before reaching the hospital. Sheboygan police were able to locate the man that was reporting missing earlier this month. 
On Monday, police put out a Nixle alert that they were searching for John Velakis, who was last seen on August 7th. At around 9.30 p.m. on Monday, police announced that he had been located, saying he is a familiar person to many in the Sheboygan area and that they appreciate the help in locating him. And finally, an update from the Fox News states that the reporting missing Iowa College student, Molly Tibbetts, has been found dead. Tibbetts vanished after a run on July 18th in her hometown of Brooklyn, Iowa. Investigators scored the area, conducted hundreds of interviews, and a reward of $366,000 was offered for information that could help find the 20-year-old. Details about where the body was located were not being released. And that is all we have for today. Join me again on Thursday for another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, have a great day. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.